All right, I'm printing with a Volcano knockoff. Um, this is a 3D cam that I got from Amazon. Uh, it's a little touch and go right now. Uh, this is the first print I've had that actually is starting to come out at all so far. Um, I'm getting jams in the hot end, and I don't know if that's... I, I think it was from me under-tightening it. We'll see. This is um, really my first print since I got this all reset back up. Uh, again, I, I was running the 1.2 nozzle, and I think that might be a little too large. I don't know. I, I don't have a very good cold end, so I'm, I'm not going to push it right now. I'm just going to try the 0.8, and that's, that's way faster than what I've been doing, so it's, it's kind of nice. Uh, but it's flying through this print. Uh, 0.8 millimeter is, uh, that's a lot of plastic. And let me show you the spool, give you an idea how fast I'm going through it. So here's the spool. And it's just turning at a pretty constant rate. Um, I'm... <laughs> it's fast. It's really fast. I want to say I've got it up at uh, 20 cubic millimeters a second. I'm on 1.3 millimeter filament. This is the uh, the Beast Rooter. You can see my Mark my Mark 8 right there going crazy. Let's see, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. So three seconds for a revolution. Or sorry, yeah, three revolutions. Yeah, three seconds revolution. So here's the, the filament. Here's how fast that's going. It's kind of flying through there. That's, that's a pretty good pace, man. I'm, I'm happy with that. It's way faster than I've been printing, especially with my... Uh, old printer. I'm, I'm printing way faster, my layers are much taller, um, the, the nozzle diameter is uh, more than double right now, um, and it looks really good. Let's see if I can get it focused. Yeah. Anyway, that's all I got for now.